binadamu unaambiwa wapa kuamka haleluya amen wapia mungu astahili mm. no sio kuamka unasema mungu ninataka niende nikutane na ka na kasta haleluya dega wa gani anaamka na mwambia asubuhi pokea shukrani kumbuka dega wa gani waliamka saa ngapi wakaambia mwenyezi mungu astahili haleluya mungu iliamka saa ngapi ikaambia mungu astahili haleluya Amen. Amen. Inaona ai bila nimeridwa na Mwenyezi Mungu. Haleluya. Ninapaa kuamka mapema nimwambia stahili. Mm. Na ni kuku. Mm. Haleluya. Ndege wa gani? Wameamka eh? Wanamwambia stahili. Haleluya. Kabla hujaamka. Wewe unashidwa kumwambia stahili kwa nini? Haleluya. Katika jina lake Yesu Kristo. Amen. Ikanivunja vunja nipoteze imani. Kilio chungu nzima furaha sikupata dharau na chuchuchu zote nimepitia kufunga nikafu Baba yetu leo biguni jina lako litukuswe ufalme wako uje utakaro fanyika hapa duniani kama uko biguni tupe leo chakula zetu za kila siku tusamehe makosa yetu kama nasi vile tusamehe walio tukosa yavyo usitutie majaribuni lakini tuokoe na yule mwovu kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako hata milele na milele amen kushindwa lakini sasa naishi kwa vishindo siku wa shua for sure pia mi Christ alinifia pale msalabani for sure in Kristo niliishi kujihukumu na kujigage kutokana na maoni ya wase but by God's grace nikasoma masomo ya the life ministry na mtazamo wangu uka change from... we thank God because this far that we have come it has taken the hand of God and the support of our customers and also our effort and our trusting in God and believing the dream that God has put in our heart is going to come true isn't it yes. yeah so i want to start by appreciating all of us uh, who are here it is not by accident that you are here you are here by plan by purpose so far i want to thank God because as Mrs Africa Homes Limited we have so far a uh, ground done ground breaking for nine projects and this is the 10th project called Asali Estate and the two of the projects that is Penguin and Heritage already the homeowners have occupied and actually people who are reselling are reselling at a very uh, good prices they are getting good returns and all the other projects all the other eight projects that are uh, before these ones all of them at are, at are, are at a very advanced stage and uh, very soon Uh, from uh, next month we shall be handing over uh, at least a project like every month the projects that we started in 2020 in 2021 all of them we are going to hand over two projects that we started in 2021 from february uh, from uh, february are also at a very advanced stage and we are also believing that we can even beat Uh, our timelines of 10 to 12 months and even deliver much earlier one of them pigeon estate we started in uh, november last year actually we did the ground breaking on november and we started the construction in december and already we are doing the finishing so we are going to have beaten our time of 10 to 12 months so so far we thank god because of all our projects are within the timeline that we normally give to our customers and we believe If our customers we continue holding hands within our time we are going to beat the timeline of 10 to 12 months and we shall be talking of 8 to 10 months isn't it because with faith and when we hold hands together we as the staff 
our customers and uh, the people on the ground, everybody. If we hold hands and we walk with the same dream and the same vision, everything is going to fall into place and our desires are going to come true, isn't it? Yeah, because we normally are told that in the Bible, where two or three are gathered uh, in faith, God's presence is there and whatever they shall release here on earth, it shall be released in heaven. Whatever they shall hold here on earth, in heaven it is going to, <coughs> to be held. Yeah, so let us continue walking in faith and in love, as we are normally, are normally told by our pastor. We walk in love, we respect each other, and we avoid that thing I've said of getting overexcited. When God gives us the blessings, let us welcome them with humility and avoid over excitement. Over excitement, <coughs> uh, yes, over excitement is not good. Excitement, yes, is good as we give God the glory, but over excitement is something that we should avoid. So that is a encouragement for the day, and uh, we are happy because also we are doing the groundbreaking for one of our clients called Joakali, and uh, we are happy because other people are getting to hear about Mizizi because of such. Uh, big names or legends and people who have believed in Mizizi we want to appreciate them and we want to continue encouraging them to come and continue giving the good word so that uh, at the end of the day we Mizizi we can be the solution we can be the solution to, the to, to, the, to what people are lacking people have the desire to own homes but people they can entrust with their funds are very few yeah, so we want to continue encouraging uh, those people who are working with us, who have big names, let's continue spreading the word so that people who desire to have homes, at least they get to here. They do not have to go to the drug people because at the end of the day, somebody has got to do the, the job. That desire somebody has got to fulfill. And if it is fulfilled by the, by the wrong person, for sure it is going to be a tragedy, isn't it? Because they are going to be heartbroken. But for us, if you come, we walk with easy, with Mizizi, for sure your dream is going to come from dream to reality. From dream to reality. to reality. As we together build a solid foundation. foundation. Yeah, may God bless you so much. Let us continue walking this journey together. And finally, we shall do what? We shall possess the land and we shall be blessed. Thank you very much. God bless you. Other counties, we are coming. We are here in Machakos. This is the first project. Machakos, we are here too to stay. We are going to spread roots. Mm. We do not come and do one project. We come and do many projects. In every part that we have occupied, we, are not, we have not done one project, and this is not going to be an exception. Once we are here, we are here to possess <coughs> the whole of this place, to fulfill the desire of these people that are here, and to fulfill God's mission. Thank you very much. May God bless you. And uh, you are looking very good. You are looking lovely. It's a good day. Nashukuru Mungu kwa siku ya leo na what we've done, don't take it for, for granted. So we are so grateful to God for everyone, for our CEO, for your lady, Pastor. Kila mtu tunashukuru. So it's now time for us to cut the cake.
sana ishi kwa bishindo Siku wa shua for shua Pia mi Christ alinifia pale msalabani for shua Nkristo lili